This seems the latest eruption in the Sunduka crater chain of the Reckoning Peninsula, with the last vent, which I have named K1, is over, uh, or near over. Uh, the eruption has reduced significantly. We had a lot of uh, slumps inside uh, the crater, and the uh, vent available for eruption is almost one-fifth. It's looking something like the little quarter of which we had similar slumps. You can see this here. And it was more eruptive, actually, than what we can see in the K1. Today, we had a lot of uh, clusters of the earthquakes, tiny earthquakes, which shows the uh, land extension in this area is continuing, especially around the Swartzengi volcanic system here, the rectangular mark. This is where the uh, Eurasian plate and North American plate, or you should say America's plate, both north and south, are extending, separating from each other, and this is creating new land through the eruption. This is the Gridnovic Rift Valley. The extension is happening here, and that's the reason we have the uh, magma rise into the surface. When it extends, the lava sinks. That's what we are seeing in the eruption of the K1. At the moment, the lava is coming down. It will stop probably, but the land rise in the under the Swartzeng is continuing. Already we have more than 10 million cubic meters of uh, magma there. It doesn't affect what is going on in the K1 crater. And based on that, we may actually be able to guess uh, or guesstimate that the source of the magma for this eruption uh, was not the shallow source of the source and volcanic system, but directly from the deeper source inside the crust, 8 to 12 kilometer one. So, if it is like that, and because we don't see the evidence for this, we may have a new eruption independent from the K1 starting by the magma from the accumulation of the magma in the Swartzing volcanic system and erupting as a new independent uh, volcanism event. So, this one looks over and a new one by the Swartzing seems it's going to start.